In this video, I'm going to tell you the best cloud storage for your photos, leaving out the tech speak and focusing on the features and functionality. Hi, I'm Amanda, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Cloud storage is a great way to store and share your photos, and I would definitely recommend it be part of your backup strategy. But knowing which one is the best can be a little bit tricky. In this video, I'm going to focus on four areas, features, sharing, functionality, and price of the five major players. If there is a service that is not in my list, drop me a comment below and I can add it to future reviews. Sadly, nothing in life is free. And if it is free, they're getting their money somehow by data mining or you may lose your digital rights. The last bastion of free photo storage was Google Photos with their high quality images, but now even they are charging. Amazon Photos. Amazon Photos is something that lots of people forget about and don't realize is part of their Amazon Prime membership. From a features point of view, it does facial recognition and keyword searching for random stuff like beach, dog, or cat. It doesn't have a location map, but it does sort stuff by location. So say you go to a particular place every year, you'll be able to find photos grouped together, but there's no map that comes with it. When it comes to sharing, Amazon Photos gets a full five stars. You can connect multiple phones to one Amazon account and load photos directly into Amazon Photos. So for collating photos from more than one phone and more than one person, it is a great solution. When it comes to functionality, Amazon Photos does both backup and sync. And if you want to maintain the beautiful organizational structure of year, month, event, you can see that in the Amazon Drive function that is the folder structure that sits by the side of Amazon Photos. From a price point of view, it gets four stars mostly because although it's included in Amazon Prime, there is a limit on the number of videos you can load up. So if you have more than 100 gigabytes of videos, you have to start paying. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, for the price, it's just not worth it. Google Photos. Google Photos has made some changes recently. So if you find another video talking about unlimited high quality photo storage, then sorry, that ship has sailed. When it comes to features, Google Photos has facial recognition and keyword searching. With an improvement on Amazon Photos, Google Photos has a map for photo locations so you can visually see where your photos have been. From a sharing point of view, it gets four stars. Why only four? You can share your entire catalog with only one partner. So pick wisely. Beyond that, you have to share albums or individual photos. From a functionality point of view, it does backup and sync, but it doesn't maintain any form of folder structure that you may have sorted your photos into. So if you load them up into Google Photos and you want to then have them in albums, you then have to create them yourself all over again. When it comes to price, Google Photos is really competitive. For a personal Google user, it gets five stars as it's really comparable to all the other services. Apple Photos. Now it's a bit of a given to say that Apple Photos only works on Apple devices. So all those Google and Android users out there, feel free to skip this one. When it comes to features, Apple Photos is really epic. There is facial recognition, keyword searching, and a really nice location map. It also does something that you may not have noticed. It curates your photos. What do I mean? If you're looking at your photos in year, month, or day view, Apple hides all of those screenshots and receipts from view. Also, the memory feature in Apple Photos is worth exploring to get lost in your memories. But sharing is where Apple lets itself down. It only gets two stars from me and barely two stars. So you can share your photos if you set up family shared albums and put photos into it. But if you want to share your entire catalog with someone else, you better have some time on your hands because you would have to sit there and put all the photos into a shared album. So sorry, Apple, for me, this is a major downside. For functionality, Apple does not maintain any kind of folder structure you've done. So if you've sorted them into years and months and events and you want to put it back into the Apple environment, it's not going to happen. You're going to have to create all the albums again post loading. A big watch out is that Apple iCloud is a sync service. What's the difference between backup and sync? I hear you say, aren't they the same thing? Nope. Sidebar. Backup means it literally backs it up. It sends it somewhere else. If you like, it puts it in the cupboard under the stairs in a little box. And if I delete it from my phone, that little box under the stairs is still there. Syncing, which is what Apple iCloud and Photos does, is if you delete a photo from your phone, it goes from everywhere. Gone forever. So if you're going to use Apple iCloud and Photos, you need to have either a time machine running on your Mac or you need some other kind of backup solution from another source. But 
I digress. From a price point of view, it gets a full five stars because it's totally comparable with Google Photos. So no great challenge there. OneDrive and Dropbox. OneDrive and Dropbox operate in a very similar way when it comes to photos, mostly because they're really set up as a file storage than any form of photo creation and usability. So I'm going to do a two for one. For features, a big nothing. No facial recognition, no maps, no keyword searching, nothing. For sharing, this is what both OneDrive and Dropbox were set up for. So sharing, no surprises, gets five stars. It's easy, you just give someone access and you keep adding photos into the folder and they can just go in and find them. From a functionality point of view, they are both backup and sync and will obviously maintain the original folder structure. But it's price where OneDrive and Dropbox deviate and deviate big style. OneDrive gets four stars. This is not as cheap as Google Photos or Apple Photos, but still a fair price. But Dropbox gets a solid one star for price. You get two gigabytes free, but once it's full, it jumps to two terabytes, which let's just say ain't cheap in whatever currency you're paying. So as far as I'm concerned, this takes Dropbox out of the running. So when it comes to the best cloud storage for your photos, for me, it's a dead heat between Google Photos and Amazon Photos, but only if you're an Amazon Prime member. They have great photo exploring features, but for me, the bonus is the sharing of all your photos with others, because isn't that what it's all about? What cloud storage do you use? Have I missed any that you swear by? Drop me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.